Do I challenge them when they're down? No. Do I challenge them after I praise them? Yes. Do I challenge them after I recognize them? Yes. Because what most people do, when you give them too much praise and too much recognition, they will start to believe their own press clippings and they will start to get comfortable. How's it going, everyone? My name is Matthew Welsh, and welcome to the Leaders Only Podcast, where we talk about business, leadership, mindset, and it's pretty much anything revolved around building an incredible life. You know, the reason that I started this podcast is because I felt like on the way to where we're at now, there wasn't really a place to go learn tangible skill sets, leadership qualities, and mindset strategies that you can learn today, apply today, and get immediate results. And so the goal of this podcast is to teach you the things that you need to actually win, to actually change your life, and to actually grow your business and grow your team if you're someone that's in the leadership role. And so if you can do me a favor, if you ever get something out of our message, if you ever get something out of the content, if you can like, share, subscribe, just tell people about it. We put out all this information for free. And so all we ask is that you share it with a friend if you get something out of it. So with that being said, thank you guys so much and let's tune in. Let's go. I'm a big mood. You can't name a lot of things that I didn't. Today, we're going to be talking about how to speak life into the people that you are leading. And this is so important because most people doubt themselves. Most people don't believe in themselves. And it's not because they're bad people, it's because they have been raised and or conditioned by parents who talk down on them or maybe in a, a relative that talked down on them. Maybe they've had some coaches and or teachers and or failed experiences that's made them not believe in themselves. There's so many reasons on why people don't believe in themselves. And so as a leader, it's important that you are always dumping feel good on people. Your belief in people needs to override the doubt that they have in themselves. Let me say it again. Your belief in people needs to override the doubt that they have in themselves. So one of the things that you can do to help people start to believe in themselves more is identify what their strengths are. What are they good at? What is maybe a background? Maybe they've been in the military. Maybe they were in the medical field, whatever it might be. Identify what they are good at. Identify the experience that they have and then link that to why you think that they will be skilled and are great in your business. So for instance, if someone that I know has an incredible heart and they just love helping people and they wanna make a difference, I'm going to link that to why I think they can win. I say, hey, listen, and by the way, these are genuine and these are real. So I'm not saying this out of manipulation, it's just the reality right? It's just the reality. So let's say I come across this person and they have a big heart. I say, listen, do you want to know why you're going to grow? Because you truly care about your people. You care about your client. People can feel that. They can feel how genuine you are. They can feel how sincere you are. They can feel that you really want to make a difference in their life. And when people can feel that, they want to do business with you and or they want to stay in business with you. So I really believe that that's going to be the, the reason that you win. Or maybe I come across someone else and they're super competitive. I say, hey, do you want to know why I think you're going to win? Because you are super freaking competitive. Because competitive people are able to stay in the trenches longer than everyone else. Because when everyone else gets tired, when everyone else Get, you know, starts to relax when everyone else starts to cool it because you're so competitive and you want to win and be number one and dominate, you're able to stay in the grind longer than everyone else. And that competitiveness is going to keep you in the hunt and help you win. So I'm always looking for things that I can link to why they're going to win. Hey, do you want to know why I think you're going to win? Because you have a background in sports. And if you have a background in sports, well, then guess what? You know how to get yourself to do things that you don't feel like doing. Because if you didn't show up to practice on the days you didn't feel like it, you didn't play. So you've built the habit and you've built the reputation with yourself that even though there might be something that I don't feel like doing, I can get myself to do it. Or maybe they come from a background in the medical field. Once again, it's helping people. Maybe they're super structured. Hey, do you know why I think you're going to win? Because you're super structured, you're organized. And so most people are sloppy and, and the people fall through the cracks or business falls through the cracks. But because you're so structured and organized, it's going to be one of the reasons that not only are you able to keep and retain your agents, but it's also going to be one of the reasons you're able to keep and retain your clients because you're organized and you're structured. So I am always looking for things that I can link to why I believe they will go on to be successful. The second part of it is what I call EPR. EPR stands for encourage, praise, and recognize. And I want you to remember this. EPR is CPR for the soul. Let me say that one more time. EPR is CPR for the soul. So when people are down, right, we want to encourage them. When people are doing something right, we want to praise them. And when somebody gets the job done, we want to recognize them in front of all of their peers. Let me say that one more time. When someone is down, you encourage them. 
What most people do is they kick them while they're down. Hey, your numbers are down. Are you kidding me? Like, get your numbers up. I can't believe you're failing. I can't believe you're falling behind. Everyone's beating you. Do you think that's going to get them to go move? No, they're in a hard spot right now. What they need is someone to come alongside them and say, listen, brother, listen, sister, it's okay. I've had a bad month too. I've had a bad situation too. You'll get through this. How can I help you get through this? You'll be okay. And then once again, you refer back to number one, which is you link their gifts to why you think they can win. But you have to encourage them and pour belief into them in those moments. So always remember this. When people are down, encourage them. And then when people are up and they're doing well, challenge them. But the E stands for encourage. Encourage people when they're down. The P in EPR stands for praise. When they're doing something right, you made 10 phone calls today. I'm proud of you for that. Good job. You showed up early and you left late. I'm proud of you. Good job. You were very well prepared. I'm proud of you. Good job. You read for two hours last night to work on your mind to get better. I'm proud of you. Good job. You praise them when they do something right. But then you recognize when they hit a goal. You got promoted. Best income month ever. You recognize them in front of all of their peers whenever they hit a milestone. So that way they go back to wanting that recognition. But here's the next one. You ready? Right after EPR, then what do we have to do? We have to challenge them. Challenge them, challenge them, challenge them. Do I challenge them when they're down? No. Do I challenge them after I praise them? Yes. Do I challenge them after I recognize them? Yes. Because what most people do, when you give them too much praise and too much recognition, they will start to believe their own press clippings and they will start to get comfortable. So when people are up and when people are doing things right, I will celebrate them. Hey, I'm so proud of you. That's so awesome. I'll recognize them in front of all their peers. But then right after that, I'm going to challenge them. I'm going to challenge them. Hey, listen, I'm so proud of you for getting this, this milestone done. This is such a big deal. How do you feel? You feeling good? Awesome. Here's the deal. If you don't want this to be the last milestone you ever hit, we got to get back in the trenches, back in the grind, and we got to go hit the next one. And I'm going to challenge them to get to the next level. So what number one was link their God-given gifts to why they will win. Number two is EPR, encourage, praise, and recognize. Number three, I want to help introduce them to their creator. I want to help them become spiritually guided because people who doubt themselves are not operating in faith. People who are operating in fear are not operating in faith. Remember, fear and faith don't sleep in the same bed. Doubt, worry, anxiety, and faith don't sleep in the same bed. So if you are operating out of negative emotions or fearful emotions or worrying emotions or doubtful emotions, well then guess what? That is the opposite of faith, which means that we are not in close proximity to our creator. How can you become self-confident if you don't have a relationship with the God that created you? How can you believe in yourself if you don't have a relationship with the person or the God that created you? You have to tap into a spiritually guided life if you want to operate at a level where you become untouchable in business. And by the way, is that the reason you should be spiritually guided? Absolutely not. But does it help? Absolutely. The success that we've had in business and the success that I've had in life, I would owe all of it to my faith. I would owe all of it to the relationship that I have with my creator. And because I'm tapped into a higher power, there's literally nothing that I don't feel I can do. Right? I believe that sometimes Goliaths come up in our lives to pull the David out of us. And every single time a Goliath pops up in my life, I have zero doubt, zero worry, zero anxiety, zero fear, because I know that David is in me, because I know who created me. And if we can help our agents tap into that and become spiritually guided, oh my goodness, they're going to start to operate and succeed at a whole nother level. And so guys, hopefully you got something out of today's content. If you did, do me a favor because we put out all this information for free. So if you get it something out of our podcast, if you can like, share, subscribe, tell a friend about it, all we ask is that you tell the world if you ever learned something. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next week on the Leaders Only Podcast. Let's get it.